Hello everyone and welcome back. It's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and today I'm back with another bead weaving basics tutorial to show you how to make another version of the daisy chain stitch. If you'd like to see version one, I will link that in the corner. That's probably a great place to start. This one is slightly different and includes just a little bit of additional thought. Today I'll be using some size 11 Japanese seed beads a size 11 beading needle, and some beading thread in the six pound test. The brand is called Fireline. And I'll link and list everything I'm using today right down below the video in the description section. Since this is a technique video, we won't be making a finished piece. I'll just be showing you step-by-step -step how to make the actual daisy chain itself in this variety. And you can incorporate that however you'd like into a finished piece and make it as long or as short as you want. Before we begin, just identify how many colors of flowers you want in your beadwork. I'll be making a variety with three colors of flowers, so I have my three petal colors. I'm using a green as a leaf color or one that will be in between each of the flowers. Then we'll be using a fifth color, which will be the single seed bead that's at the center of each little flower. You're welcome to use larger seed beads, such as Eidos, if you'd like to, to get started. And you can make your flowers all the same color if you'd like to. So all that is up to you. And once you've gathered up your materials and you add a comfortable length of beading thread to your beading needle, then we can jump into this tutorial. To begin, we're gonna make our very first flower and we're gonna pick up four of our petal color seed beads. And we're gonna pick up one of the seed beads, which is going to be at the very center of the flower. Then pull those beads down towards your tail thread. And I'm not gonna be using a stop bead, but you're more than welcome to do that if you're more comfortable. Once you have those five beads strung on your thread, take your needle and sew back through that very first seed bead heading towards your tail thread. Hold the tail thread, the bead and everything with your thumb and your forefinger to hold those in place. And you start out with something that looks like this. Now pick up two more of that same petal color. We're gonna complete this flower. My thread, both the tail and the working thread are coming out of the same seed bead here. And we want to take our needle and go through the seed bead that's on the other side of that center bead. And then what I like to do is just take my thumb and my forefinger and press all these beads flat. Give that a good pull and you end up with this. So that is your first flower done. And I'm just positioning this so that my thread is coming down out of the seed bead right here. My tail thread's on that side. And we're gonna continue by making the little section that's going in between the flowers. We're gonna start that by picking up one of these leaf color beads. Then pick up the next petal color that you plan to do and pick up one more leaf bead. Next, sew directly up through the seed bead that is above the one that you're coming out of and hold that with your fingers and pull. Next, pick up a leaf bead and that next petal color. So you have these two on your needle. And sew down through that new petal seed bead you just added in the last step. And now you can continue on finishing this flower. So you can pick up two of the petal color you're working with, the center color seed bead, and then sew directly up through the seed bead on top of the one you're coming out of. And now finish that flower by picking up two of that petal color and sewing down through the petal that is on the other side of that center color. And after each step, just make sure you're pulling everything nice and tight. And you're in place to complete your next flower. So let's complete one more together. And to do that, once again, we're gonna pick up a green, then the next petal color, and then a green. We're gonna sew up through the seed bead that is directly above or next to the one that we're currently coming out of. Take a moment to pull that tight. Now we're gonna pick up a green and then one of the petal colors. And we're gonna sew down through the single petal bead of that new flower that we're making. And be sure you're pulling this really tight after each step. 
Next, you'll pick up two of your petal color and then your center color and sew up through that top petal color that you get to next and pull. And then to complete that section and that flower, you're going to pick up two of that same petal color and go directly down through that next petal color bead that you get to on the other side of the center. Press that between your fingers and pull. So that's all there is to this. And then once again, your next step would be picking up one of your divider colors, your next new petal color and a divider color and sewing up through that seed bead. But you're welcome to back up the video and just keep repeating the same steps and make your chain as long or as short as you'd like to. So that's all for daisy chain variation number two. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I want to thank you so much for being here. Feel free to leave me a comment down below. Also give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Be sure to share it with your other beading friends and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll have some more variations of the daisy chain stitch to come. And in the meantime, be sure to check out my playlist for my other bead weaving basics videos if you'd like to continue to learn some new techniques and basic beading stitches. That's all I have for now. I hope to see you again real soon. And until next time, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. And as always, happy beading.